You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk about the future of the MonsterVerse, a very common question that's been popping up this whole week ever since the movie released and everybody got to see it. So mainly on Wednesday night stream, uh, that was a big question. It remains, and we're going to get into that in a moment. First of all, I want to thank everybody for the fantastic streams this week. We have, we've had a lot of big crowds. We've had a lot of guests. And, of course, tonight is no different. We're going to be streaming again at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Fat Samurai Guy is going to be there. Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, is going to be there. And we might have a couple of other guests unconfirmed so far. So come around for that. We're definitely going to have a lot of fun talking more about the movie in great detail. So I hope you've seen it. There will be spoilers. So just to warn you. Also... It's been a crazy week. I am working on my review for last week's episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier, as well as today's. I did see the episode. So we're going to get back into our regular video schedule definitely next week with those two videos, as well as other topics. And of course, a lot of Godzilla vs. Kong and MonsterVerse videos to come. There's a lot of things that we got to discuss. And also, finally, we are going to have a fun trash talking video that... After the movie now is over, I finally can have a little bit of fun. And instead of trying to be objective and have fair conversations about Godzilla or Kong, now that we know who the victor is, I'm going to have my fun and have a trash talking videos. So Kong fans, you might want, you might not want to check that one out. Okay. All right. But anyway, uh, Godzilla versus Kong is doing fantastic at the box office. As you well know, it's looking like it's going to be able to pull out possibly 200 million by the time the weekend's over, which is obviously going to make it the biggest box office success uh, during the pandemic for a movie. And that is great news. Now, the question is now, everybody knows it's, it's successful. For those who care about Rotten Tomatoes, it's gotten good reviews over there. But even, even without Rotten Tomatoes, you look everywhere, for the most part, people are loving this movie. Even, they're, even while admitting, and rightfully so, that the story is basically not all that great, uh, and that's being kind, there's just so much, so much uh, things about the movie that are good. Not only um, the monster fights, but the CGI, the action, things of that nature, the visuals. Um, so that has just made it an overall fun movie to watch. And you want to know something? It's okay to have a fun movie to watch. You don't always need a breathtaking story. You certainly don't always need a breathtaking story in a monster movie. And we all know that for the most part, most fans, are hard, some hardcore, most not hardcore, are coming to this movie to watch the giant monsters fight. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. So now the question is, are we going to get another movie? Are we going to get another movie? And as you guys know, I have been very hesitant to commit to the idea that we're going to get another movie after this. I mean, after all, where do you go beyond Godzilla vs. Kong? Well, if you're a hardcore kaiju fan like many of us, we can go the destroyer route, destroy all monsters, this. I mean, we can think up of a hundred scenarios, but that's because we're kaiju fans. Of course, we would love to see that. Where do you go if you're a general audience fan, right? Where do you go after this movie? When you have the one monster that the general audience really loves and loves the idea of seeing him fight up against God, fight against Godzilla. And, you know, I know a lot of people now are like, hey, Rob, remember we used to talk trash about Mechagodzilla and not working? And yeah, I do. I do. I don't deny that. And actually, it's kind of funny because uh, there was at least one video I saw. I can't remember who it was. And at least two reviews that I read, not reviews, a couple of comments that I read on, I think it was an IGN board. Or maybe it was a different website, maybe Screen Rant. But I've, I've seen at least several people, one in a video, two in comment sections on different sites, already come out and start to ask the very question that I would say, that I said people would start asking about this movie, which is the Mechagodzilla thing was, what was that all about? Why did they build him like Mechagodzilla? And, and when I started seeing those, I started saying to myself, hmm, that's a bit concerning. And it's not that these people testify not liking the movie. They did like it. But they did say how dumb it was. And they did testify how dumb it was they thought Mechagodzilla was even shaped like Godzilla. A lot of questions they were asking that, yes, me and hardcore kaiju fans can answer. We understand the answer to this. And I'm not saying that's going to hurt the movie. Obviously, I think there's a lot of reasons why this movie did well. Mechagodzilla was done well. You know, he was cool looking. He's a big robot. But also, let's be honest, the pandemic 
was a big assist for the Monster Bros. We've already spoke about this. While I am more than happy to talk trash and glorify that the kaiju genre and the Godzilla movie is on top of the world and standing alone, we also have to recognize one of the reasons for that is the pandemic. So there's a lot of things that went into account that did help this movie. So the question is, do we get another movie? I think if they plan on doing another movie, yeah, you got to bring Kong back. You got to bring Kong back and you have to make it something. I, I think if you, we get another movie, you're probably going to hear about it as soon as the end of this month and probably by Comic-Con. That's my guess. It, I, this is something that they're going to announce very quickly. They're not going to waste time. They're going to probably say something like Kong and Godzilla will be back on screen together in this movie. And they got to film it quick. This is not something that can take five years. I think, I think there is a good chance for another movie uh, based on the success. And the one advantage to being the only movie standing alone is that you opened this movie and this genre and this world to a lot of eyes that probably haven't seen it before. And you've opened it to a lot of new potential fans. And that's a big deal. There are going to be people who have not seen Godzilla 2014 or maybe saw it in passing who are not into the monster verse like some of us uh, or have not seen a Godzilla movie at all and just wanted to yearn to get back to the theaters and saw this and was like, well, this is pretty cool. I, I kind of like this, you know, and they might go back and revisit some of the older movies. I do think that there is a good opportunity for another movie to kind of finish this out. But I do think you have to bring Kong back into the fold. And you don't necessarily, I, in my opinion, have to pin him up against Godzilla. You could easily do another team up. And I think that's kind of where we're going. I think that's the last thing left um, to make it feel like something fresh and new. Because like I said, you could only do so many monster movies that are monsters fighting in big cities and big cities crumbling before it starts to get stale. I think you do have to bring in a movie now where you have a bigger threat, but the threat is a duo and a, a, maybe a huge duo that requires a certain number of monsters to take down. And maybe you can have something where it's Godzilla, Rodan, Mothra, and Kong going up against, let's say, a Mecha King Ghidorah or, you know, a combination of a Mecha King Ghidorah and a Gigan or, you know, or, or just new monsters altogether, you know? Um, you know, one of the things we talk about is all the monsters that are within this lore that we really haven't seen a whole lot. For example, Behemoth, you know, Methuselah, Skeela, you know, all, all, a lot of monsters we never even got to see on screen. So um, that are not those that I just mentioned. And they can go that route as well. So I, I do think if there's going to be another movie, we're going to hear about it fairly soon. I don't think they're going to waste much time and they shouldn't. Uh, I think as soon as the end of this month, as as late as Comic Con, I don't think, I don't think we're gonna go beyond Comic Con without an answer because I think this is something they're gonna put in motion pretty quickly. I think they're probably gonna want to get it out within the next two years because they understand that the large gap hurt them uh, before, and then of course with all the delays that happened going into Godzilla vs Kong, that they were very lucky that the pandemic probably helped this movie a great deal. So, yeah, man, I, I don't I, I think there's a good chance. I still I'm still going to hold out and reserve my excitement until I get the official word. And until then, I'm going to just assume this is the end, because one of the things I did say two years ago during my whole criticism of the idea of uh, Mechagodzilla being in the MonsterVerse was, well, if he is going to ever be in the MonsterVerse, they're going to have to go balls to the wall. And that's where it's going to end. So knowing that Godzilla vs. Kong is as big as it gets for some audiences, most audiences, not hardcore kaiju fans, knowing that Mechagodzilla is as absurd as it is, and then drawing back to what I said in the past regarding Mechagodzilla, and then now seeing some elements of people starting to say the very things that I was saying people would say a couple of years ago, I'm starting to think to myself, okay, maybe they, they'll just stop it here. Maybe they'll, they'll stop on a high, they'll stop on a win. But we'll see. I, I think I'm just going to think that until they make the official announcement. But if you're asking me my honest opinion as to whether or not there's a chance we get another one, I do think there is a good chance. Uh, and I do think we'll hear about it within, like I said, probably within the next couple of months. You know, um, I would say as soon as the end of April, once they get the numbers in, uh, once they have a couple of weeks under their belt to see how this movie does. And then probably, if not then... Comic-Con makes the most sense. I mean, that's when they announced Ghidorah, Mothra, and Rodan into the MonsterVerse 
after the 2014 movie. 2014 movie came out in May. We hit July, and they announced the uh, the other three. And then, of course, we had to wait five years. Uh, if they announce another movie, like a Destroy All Monsters type, or a big, uh, like an Avengers Endgame type monster movie, which I think is probably the route they're going to go, and it's probably going to take place in the Hollow Earth, and that'll determine the fate of the world. If, if a one team of monsters beats another team of monsters, that'll depend who rules, you know, that kind of thing. And um, last thing I want to mention is, because I know this video is getting kind of long, uh, I did make a tweet regarding uh, Popcorn Planet talking about an alien invasion and credit scene. I do see a lot of people asking about this. Uh, here's the thing. I, during my tweet, I said that I, I don't think that's an accurate assessment. Again, he could be completely right. The guy's got more connections than I do, but I'm going based on what Adam Wingard said. And Adam Wingard did confirm. I, I even posted the video on Twitter that I referenced. I did this video a couple of weeks back, and I'll put it at the end of this video so you guys can check it out. But Adam Wingard, because I have the actual video where he says this, he did say that they, they filmed an end credit scene, and then they decided to put that end credit scene in the movie. Uh, which is obviously not alien related. And then he did say later, it was confirmed by Mojo, uh, that he also came out and said that the very end of the movie, where you see Kong in the Hollow Earth with Monarch and him, that was the original end credit scene. So, um, you know, I don't think the alien end credit scene is accurate. However, <laughs> I hope he's right by some miracle because uh, that's kind of actually where I think this is going if they decide to do another movie. And I'm going to do a video dedicated to that, talking about that scenario uh, pretty soon, along with a bunch of other videos I got planned, guys. So make sure you stick around the channel, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to be there tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, we're going we're gonna to continue to have fun with this. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Click here to watch more content. Don't forget to leave a comment. Also, make sure you like and share this video. If you want to know when the next video is up, click the notification bell next to the subscribe button. And most of all, make sure to click that subscribe button for regular content.